Hello, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial series, we are going to use ZBrush 2019 to sculpt this hand or something very close to it. I'm using a custom UI here that I prefer for my students to use. I will make it available for anybody who's watching this video. There'll be a, an obvious download link somewhere. It's uh, just basically getting rid of some of the clutter that I don't need and adding some of the things in that I am going to be using. And I'm right-handed. So a lot of the stuff is going to be kind of happening over here. If you're left-handed, uh, you can rebuild it as you like with things to be over here for your own convenience. So to begin, we're going to go to texture and then we're going to click import and hop over to the reference folder here where you will find hand to ref and probably not this other stuff. And then once it is in your texture menu, you can click it and then click this button right here that says add to spotlight. So this is spotlight and it's actually pretty great for, for using reference. So the way it works is as soon as you add something to spotlight, this should be the default behavior. You may get your light box to pop up. If that's the case, just tap the comma button. So what we can do here is if I click inside here, I'm going to move the position of the reference. Whereas if I click the actual inside this little golden circle here, then I can just move my little light box. So if I want to use some of the functionality here that I have in the light box, I can either, I can, we can look at scale. This one's pretty useful. And we'll probably be doing this a lot because some of the images are over here and some are over here. And you know, we're going to want to tuck into some of this detail. So you can very easily scale it and move the, uh, the light box reference to where you want it to go, scale it back down. Uh, opacity will be in here somewhere. We'll want to use full opacity. So those are the primary two that I use because I'm just going to use this as a reference. It does have some additional functionality in it that's, that can be useful in terms of like applying vert color to stuff. You can kind of paint through your, your image onto geometry. There's a, in order to get it to drop, like say if we're happy with where this is and we want to just kind of turn off the controller here, you can just hit the Z key. So to bring it back, you just hit Z. So Z is the hotkey to activate the uh, spotlight controller. And if you want the spotlight to go away, you can just say shift Z and shift Z will bring it back. So that is your crash course in spotlight. It's a uh, pretty convenient. There's one uh, very important thing though. We want to, if I, I can just sort of demonstrate it real quick. All right, now I'm in it. Mode. So uh, anyway, uh, as I am trying to this is a polymesh 3D, which means I should be able to sculpt on it, but nothing is happening. I've got standard brush turned on and we're not getting anywhere. If I move underneath and I sculpt, we'll see that it's actually doing a lot of stuff here on the surface as determined by whatever it thinks is going on with spotlight. That's not the functionality we're looking for here. We don't want there to be some requirement that we're underneath the spotlight in order to, uh, to sculpt. So that's why I've got the little spotlight projection. Once again, shift C rather than control Z. Uh, right here, if we turn that off, we can sculpt as we normally would expect to sculpt. So that's why that is pulled out. So anyway, that is our introduction to getting Spotlight set up. And uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at beginning to build this geometry using Z-Spheres.